On the road with Molly Kelly in Peterborough, the Democratic candidate for governor talking to a pair of nurses who say they see patients all the time who won't be able to afford medication and treatment after being discharged from the hospital. They're saying to me, oh, well, I know I won't do that. I know I won't be able to afford that. Right, 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 right. Well, I, I certainly believe that health care is a right and that as governor I want to make sure that everyone has access and quality health care. That's important to me. Barbara Robinson of Antrim wanted to know how Kelly could help restore civility to public discourse. I think, you know, we need to get back to that and I think there's a lot of politicians, um, you know, that, that don't believe in that, but that's definitely one of the things I look at. We need civility in our language and I think that uh, what I think about and make, I was in the Senate for 10 years too, and when I think about decisions I make and legislation and policy, I think for me, I start with one thing, dignity and respect. Jack Perrin encouraged Kelly to rethink the state's tax structure. So we just do it on the basis of their house, which is about as fair as assessing people's ability to pay based on the value of their toothbrush. Perrin also pressed Kelly to take a stand against the border checkpoints on I-93. It is not the job of New Hampshire law enforcement. Emily Thurms and Allie Keene had questions about education policy from pre-K to college. My daughter's nine, so elementary age. I attended uh, Keene State uh, um, as a single mom. Uh, with children, and uh, it made a difference in my life. You know how it is. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, I do know. And so education is so important to me because of the doors that it opens up. In Peterborough, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.